Hi guys, it's Tim from Advanced In Car Technologies. I hope you're all well. Today I'm in a 2016 VW Caravelle. It's the new MQB platform. Uh, and as you can see, it's got the new style uh, infotainment system, which is the Discover Media. Um, it's actually from memory, I think it's the 5K8 part number because it's the, um, the, the MIB2 version, as it were. And it, this means that you can then have cool stuff like CarPlay uh, and all of that sort of stuff going on. So what I'm going to do is uh, one of the features of this is the CarPlay. So that's what I want to show off to you. Um, this afternoon to show how it works with a phone got a phone ready and waiting here so that I can plug in we can have a look at a few of the apps and uh, just really roll through it like we do with our normal sort of it, sorts of videos so um, so I'll turn the car on it's a bit warm today so I'm gonna get the old aircon on and so look, it's normal starting up on the old VW logo okay so let's turn that down so the YouTubes don't get too excited about it so you can see it's got it's got your normal radio, media, phone, voice, eject, nav, traffic, menus. Got the two SD card slots, and you also get your nice uh, doodars going on there. Going to radio, got all your little scrolling bits going on there. FM, Bob's your uncle, etc., etc. I'm not going to go too far into it because we've already done a video of, of this unit. This is mainly for the CarPlay. Now the main thing that you will need is that. VW seem to be getting away from the MDI port with all the different leads and you'd need a, a new lead for every single device. Uh, this is a good thing in my opinion. All you're going to need is your trusted um, lightning adapter that you can see here. And in this car, you can't see it, but just down here, whoop, just there, is where you plug in on the Caravelle. So this will flip up, we plug it in, oh, plugged in, right. So one iPhone, we're going to plug it in down the bottom, starts charging which is uh, obviously a good start. Uh, Apple CarPlay, new device detected, would you like to connect with Apple CarPlay? Connect. Um, so this means that you, you this is going to be your CarPlay, so unlock your iPhone to start CarPlay, <coughs> the old uh, fingerprint. Right, so I was using TuneIn. Uh, oh yeah, you AirPlay, CarPlay, uh, you need to make sure that you allow this, um, so make sure you do that. Right, so let's just make sure. I'm gonna manually stop this from doing anything. Let's come out of here. Right, okay, so normally you'd be presented, if we go back here, Apple CarPlay, you'd normally get a couple of options if you haven't got a, a thing plugged in. So, phone connected, you will have to have it connected. It's not Bluetooth. Um, it has to always be connected. So I'm just going to lock the, lock the screen, pop it away so I don't have to hold it. Now, CarPlay, um, there isn't very many apps on the market as of yet. There's only really the factory ones, uh, TuneIn and Spotify. So they're the, they're the main games. I think there's a few audiobook ones as well. So like I said, this will only work on the new MIB2. Um, with the Discovery Pro and all that sort, and I'm not sure if it's on the composition yet, but I'll have to double check. Right, first and foremost, phone. Um, like your normal sort of thing, show contacts. Um, normally you hear Siri harping on about something, so let's just go back. Um, messages. So whom should I send your message? So there you go. You can use, uh, it's, it's reading my voice now, it's not going to be able to do anything, so I'll just I'll just cancel that. So, um, oh, there you go. Right, so phone. Who should I ring for you? Cancel. No, I was going to try and find cancel now. Okay. Um, so you don't have to use um, the voice control. You can just go in, just push cancel, and then you can go, you've got your recents, your contacts, uh, your keypad and then your voicemail button it's pretty fast to be fair uh, and there you go and you can dial it and away you go so that's our telephone number there um, always push this button here to go back if you've got music on the on the iPhone that you're using um, or if you've got Apple music then you this will all come up in here uh, I don't think we've got any music on this one but I'll have a look anyway that's quick scroll there by the way no we haven't got any any music on there um, maps so this you can only use uh, Apple Maps it's, it's you can't use Google there are workarounds with Google Maps but you won't ever get anything on the screen you'd only ever get the sound um, so you can just use this as a drive-by um, turn 3d off uh, 3d on you can scroll in 
or scroll out, whichever one's easiest, you can see it changing in there. So zoom in, zoom out. Um, you can move about like that, Nuffield Road, Harwell, and you can see all the different businesses. We should be on there, but I don't know why we're not. Um, oh, maybe we're up here. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Harwell Road. So there's Harwell, that's where we are. Um, this is a bit of a weird thing going on. Ah, it's the wrong way around, that's why. Let's... Oh, that's going to auto change when we go on there, that's why I didn't recognise what was going on. Okay, so like I said, you can move around, you can change the orientation, all that sort of stuff. Hit destinations, uh, you can see local stuff that we've been to before, you can search for stuff using Siri, or you can use the keypad uh, and go to, there you go, there's a postcode that's automatically popped up, comes up, start. And what I always do, because I have CarPlay in my car as well, is I leave it on this mode and I hit overview, um, detail, there you go. And as you start driving, the map will go like that and then you can see where you're going, which is pretty cool. And it will give you turn by turn. And I'm just checking to see if you get any information on the driver's information system. Audio, navigation. So I'm not getting any nav information on the driver's information system. Uh, that will probably only come from that. Right, that's that in there. Messages, uh, Siri will, when you get a new message, you won't actually see any text on the screen. You'll just be able to listen to them. Uh, it's, it's, it's dictated basically, and, and that's how you dictate. Uh, hit Volkswagen, and it will take you back to that. You can go into the setup menu, um, how it's working. You can choose your type that you prefer, select the device, data transfer, not really too much going on there. So go back in there. Uh, audio books and podcasts, they're pretty standard really. Uh, Tuning radio is what I use all the time to, to listen to digital radio because my car doesn't actually have DAB. Um, so let's wait for this to fire up. Um, Spotify, your library, really easy. Playlists, let's see what's going on. Uh, you can scroll through. You've got all your songs that you've been listening to recently. You've got albums. There you go. Artists. It's pretty much as if you've got Spotify in the car, really. You've got radio. Uh, let's go in here. Discover Weekly. Uh, let's go for this one. Play. So I turn it up, turn it down because I don't want YouTube getting too, too involved with it. Uh, and yeah, so you can skip all that sort of stuff going on. It's pretty, it's actually really responsive in this car. Uh, and I'm just scrolling through the old uh, driver's information system to see what sort of stuff we get. So listening to this music, we're not actually getting anything on the driver's information system using the steering wheel. So that's something to bear in mind. And you can always go back to the quick, I'm going to turn this off now, uh, quick maps by doing that. And there you go. Let's turn that down a bit more. I wonder what that one does. Uh, end the map, you can end the maps again. I quite like all the motions that you've got. And always that's your home bit. Tune in radio. I'm not sure if it's going to work because I haven't got tune in premium, which I think is one of the things that you need to have. But in here, you'd be able to go into recent stations and stations like Radio One Extra, Kiss, all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's. Let me see if I can find out why it's not doing that. So, um, so I'm just on tune in here, as you can see. Radio Two. Let's see what's going on with this. It might be because I'm using, like I said, the the non-paid version on this one. Or it could be that tuning isn't actually working at the moment, which would be amazing seeing as I want to do this video. But normally you'd get that on there, you'd be able to turn it up and then you'd get it. Not sure why it's not working, but you would basically get this on there and you can scroll and do all of that sort of stuff. Um, so let's go out of here. So yeah, that is uh, the old CarPlay on a 2016 Caravelle. You'll also get this in the Golfs, the Polos. I think they were from standard from October 2015, the new MIB2. So that's something to, to be wary of. You've obviously got your SD card port there for the, for the old music. Like I said, this is more of a video about CarPlay so you get a really good feel of how it looks, feels, works, etc. etc. Any questions, uh, get in touch. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more VW vid videos. And uh, thank you very much.